broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning and uh, welcome to our webinar session today. Uh, this is Jim Guinan. I'm an annuity director here with Insurance Agency Marketing and today uh, we will be joined by Taylor Urich from Allianz Life and Taylor is going to talk about um, the 360 annuity as you know you signed up for this but uh, we're going to spend some time talking about the annuity and the benefit rider. Um, before we get to Taylor, there's a few things we'd like to go over with you. Um, if some of you are familiar with our webinar process, but we do have a few things and topics that we want to cover, and then I'll turn that presentation over for Taylor to, to talk to you more, um, to get you up to speed on one of the more competitive products that Allianz has in their portfolio today. I do want to remind you all that we are recording the webinar, so for some reason you have to leave early. You've got a an important uh, call that comes in and you can't finish, we understand. We record the webinars and that will be made available for you um, usually by early afternoon. Um, we usually also uh, email you a few things after the webinar, but if there's any questions you have, please uh, type those in. If for some reason we don't get to your question, we will address that um, usually we address those this afternoon. So we do appreciate your interest and your participation. Uh, so with that, let's get, uh, let's get started. Um, again, I've, uh, I've been in the annuity marketplace for uh, about 18 years now, about five of those with IMS. So really enjoy this marketplace and want to tell you a little bit about some business builders that IMS has been, been continuing to offer for our individuals and that's our RPM program, Referred Producer Program, uh, ways that we can put some money in your pocket, uh, ways that you can build your agency. So when you refer an agent to us uh, and they contract, we'll, we'll send you $50 for that and then as they write business going forward, we will pay you an override um, and so you can build this as a, a one way of building your uh, agency under you and without having to really exert a lot of effort as a as an agency owner. So tell us who those individuals are, people that are writing fixed annuities, life insurance, med subs, um, and this is unlimited bonus, so you can have a number of people that you're referring at one time. It's just not one producer. You get the bonus, and that's it. So it's an ongoing, continual uh, RPM program. Also, our marketing reimbursement continues to be very successful. We have agents that are having dollars constantly thrown into that account for use for their business expenses. So um, if you have questions about what you currently have, if you're a producer with us, you want to check with Chris in accounting, they can tell you how much you have available. Again, uh, single premium life, target life, indexed annuities all have a conversion of dollars that get thrown in as you're writing and then you can get reimbursed 50 percent on those expenses and the list for that is pretty expansive so if you've done a seminar you've done a lead drop anything that, that counts towards your business please give us those receipts the other way that we have uh, successfully been able to put money in your pocket right away is through our new producer bonus as you can see, there's different levels. This is all within your first six months of writing business with IMS. So again, uh, a number of ways to be incented for uh, writing. Again, our way of showing to you that we appreciate your business and placing that um, sooner than later. And uh, as you meet, meet that threshold at the end of the six months, you can see um, pretty lucrative ways to get some cash if you want cash in your pocket or some other uh, programs that we use. Our back office support here at IMS I think is exceptional. Um, again, these are people that help you. They also help me. So some of the same people that help with your quotes, if you call in, need some assistance with annuity or life quotes, those are the same people I rely on. Uh, we do run a lot of our own income rider illustrations here as marketers, but um, you do have a very um, up-to-date, I think, and very competitive contracting department. We now have two individuals full-time that help with contracting, not one. Um, we do have, uh, of course, as I mentioned, illustrations that we can run both annuity and life. 
And the individuals that follow through with your cases when you submit them are also the ones that uh, that process your new business apps are also the ones that follow those cases through to the end. So again, um, our job is to make uh, to free up time for you to do what you do best, which is sell. If you have a uh, business that you want to develop, a, di a business plan, I should say, this year, um, and you want to talk with someone about ways to improve your presence, your branding, you may want to give um, Sean and Jacob and Aaron a call, our creative department. Uh, they are busy helping agents with web, uh, I mean a website, I should say websites, improving websites. If you're looking at ways to market yourself, they do work a lot with branding to help you kind of connect up to different things that you do, your website, your your uh, paper communication, your email marketing. So uh, give them a call. They'll give you an idea what they can do. If you've got some ideas and they'll work with you on that and give you an idea what that might, what might cost you to do so again that's something you could take from your marketing reimbursement as you're writing business with us but again reach out to those people they're very good at what they do i think the area that they've been most busy with this last year and a half has been in website helping agents with websites speaking of websites if you've not been to ours lately uh you should check us out it's www.imsinc Dot com that's i a m s i n c dot com uh, I go to our website every day mostly for um, running comparisons and product searches I mean, we now have over thirty five carriers here at IM so very hard to assimilate based on state age of client benefit and features so we rely on a lot of the same tools that you can go to also but um, a lot of times we know who's going to have the best bonus or who who may have the best MIGA rate, but sometimes we're not sure. We'll run a search. We rely on that search tool quite heavily also for income rider quotes. So the website's very uh, useful from our point of view, but it gives you that access around the clock. If you want to know um, what are the better selling products and features and rates on our annuities, for example, uh, you can find our rate book right out online there. You can also find our current webinar schedule. Um, there's a huge resource library that has things like financial calculators, uh, fact finders, and other tools that you can use. Again, it's at your fingertips. A pretty good pretty good uh, access to, to find that. Also, I didn't mention, but life quotes too. So if you need some term or UL quotes, those are available on um, the pipeline in there. So again, take Take advantage of the, the resources that are there. I think probably the most underused is the resource library. Uh, we have had some webinars on that. So if you'd like to, kn to know more or hear more about that, we will have future webinars on our sales resource library. Okay, our Life and Annuity um, Academy is uh, we're presently uh, working on one as we speak. We we are scheduled to have our next two-day producer training in mid-March. Um, this has almost been completed as far as the invite list. Um, if you're currently writing fixed annuities and life insurance and would like to know more about um, some advanced areas like seminars or um, just getting more information about advanced topics, uh, we we might have a, a fit for you. It is a two-day all-expense-paid training. We have usually about three a year. Our next one will be in mid-May. And so if you have interest in that, you've not been to an academy or it's been a number of years since you've been to an academy, um, I would encourage you to register for that. And we will have an email that goes out at the end of our session here today um, where you could actually register, and you may have seen it on our, uh, we've been emailing out quite a bit lately. I'm going to actually um, launch that poll question so you can respond to that poll now um, if you'd like to get more information. But again, it's a, it's a very compact training. It's two days. We put a lot of information together, 
and it is not for someone new in the business or brand new to annuities. Again, we're looking for producers. We're looking for those of you that are writing business and want to go to another level and go to that other level with us. So, um, again, if you have any questions about that later, you can certainly reach out to me. Or if there's another annuity or life marketer that you already work with or talk to, certainly give them a call and they'd be glad to tell you more uh, than what I can cover here. But we do appreciate your response um, to that poll. Okay. All right. Wrapping up here pretty quick. I want to talk a little bit about our um, marketing summit, which is scheduled for next uh, summer. Um, our qualification period is coming to a close at June. Again, if you're uh, uh, been writing with us, you've probably been getting an update from us. But again, it is a both an educational social event, our marketing summit, and it will be held in August of 2019, which is just later this summer. So again, we will have future ones. Um, this is a chance for those individuals that are writing a fair amount of business with us, an opportunity to meet with um, the uh, home office people here at IMES, and um, we have a chance to visit with you and learn more about your practice too. So if you're interested in qualifying or not sure where you're at with that yet, you can see what we're looking for for business to be to be invited for that. I also want to talk a little bit about single premium life real quick here. I don't have a slide, but one of the areas that we're seeing a lot of growth here at our brokerage and we feel that it is a area where many annuity producers are not taking advantage of it is wealth transfer products. So if you are interested in getting more information, we presently have about nine carriers that we work with on single premium life. And that is a big growing market. Uh, we know a lot of our competition is, is also working with it. But if you're working with clients that have older annuity contracts, um, and are looking at just continuing to let it defer and pass on, um, some or some portion of that could be a potential single premium life sale. So if you'd like more information on that, um, certainly let us know, and we would be glad to get you an illustration, more details about uh, underwriting on these products, and um, just how easy it is really to sell and present single premium life. So I appreciate your response on that. Again, we can get you information, uh, whether it's qualified money or non-qualified. We do have several carriers that will accept qualified money and uh, uh, spread the taxes out so that it's not such a burden up front. So appreciate your response um, on that. So with that, uh, I'm going to turn this over to Taylor now. Uh, so Taylor, uh, let me do that now. Okay. Do you have Do you have uh, your presentation there? Should be up right now. Very good. All right. Thank you, Jim. Like Jim said, my name is Taylor Urich. I've been with Allianz, just a little background on myself. I've been with Allianz about eight years now. Um, currently the director of sales in the West, supporting obviously our annuity sales, index annuity sales side. For the last three years, actually my role was an external wholesaler on our fixed index annuity side. Traveled the country visiting uh, our 200 of our top agents, uh, whether that's helping with client events, whether that's helping them get up to speed with marketing our products. But obviously had some insight and I think that helps going into the product to know how others are selling it. So I'm sure many of you are aware of the number one product in the industry is the Allianz 222. Um, we're not talking about that today because I think there's there's another product I think that gets missed. And I think if you talk to a lot of home office individuals, you're gonna learn this is a fan favorite um, just from what it can do. And I wanna talk a little bit about how you can position this, how you can use it. So we're gonna go over PowerPoint. I know no one enjoys PowerPoints too much, but we're gonna kind of buzz through that a little bit and I wanna get more to concept. I wanna show you some of the tools, how people will use it, but really the strength of it using some illustrations, some examples and show you maybe how that can fit your practice. But I think it's worth noting, we should go through some of the 
the basics first. And you'll see me skip through a few slides. Obviously, I'll keep them up there for a little bit, but we all know what we're using fixed index annuities for. So there's three things I'll point out on this page, right? When we're looking at it, we're looking at increasing income potential, staple of Allianz, we'll touch on that more, asset protection, staple of any FIA, but also tax control, right? Looking at deferring that till later. A couple of things we're gonna look at with the 360. One, index interest, obviously that's the performance. Two is your 360 benefit rider, your interest bonus, that's a 25% interest bonus credit to the contract, as well as your accumulation protection. So I wanna pause here. When we're talking about the 360, we're a little bit narrow focus versus the 222. We always talk about the 222 being one of the most flexible products in the industry. With the 360, it is very focused on income. Now, others can use it for accumulation, and I'll show you some of the rates and caps later. But the main focus of this product is generally going to be an income-driven sale because you are paying for it, but the income rider is truly what people are looking for the benefit from, what they're positioning with their client when they're trying to set up a lifetime income in retirement. So part of the 360 benefit rider is 125% interest bonus built into it. So essentially that how, how that works, well, the client's in deferral, right? We'll see the first year get 3%. We're going to get an extra 25% of that for a total of 3.75%, right? Going to help us accelerate that value, give us a bigger number to make work our income offer off of down the road. Second year, we see a zero, obviously a zero. Can't, you're not going to lose anything. This is still an FIA. Year three, 2% allocation interest plus an extra 50%. You're getting two and a half. Pretty simple, and we'll highlight that a little bit later, but keep that in mind. Well, the client is in deferral. They're going to get an extra 25% of all their interest. Allocation options. I think this is something that separates us from all of our competition, and that is our the options we truly provide the field. You look at this, we're looking at something that's new on the bottom right, participation rates. We added that on our Bloomberg volatility control, our PIMCO, and then last year we launched our BlackRock index. Uh, really unique feature, but something I feel we're ahead of the game. You know, you have all these options plus a fixed interest. And I will show you at the end where we stand with rates. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I think you're going to be shocked to see where those at. And I think it's going to bring it to, to a competitive standpoint for you, something you're going to hopefully use with your clients. But something to note, this is where I think we excel. So your schedule. Everyone here is familiar with it. This can vary by state. I will throw that caveat in there. But Looking at a 10, 10, 10 generally across the board, obviously decreasing as you go along. MBAs on the contract, just like any other any other product we have, pretty standard stuff. So let's look at the, the standard product features. Zero to 80 is the issue age. Minimum premium is 20,000. So we're gonna need at least 20 to start this contract. A new feature we just launched is we've been at 12 months premium ad. We are currently, we just upped that to an 18 month ad. So the client can add to this contract for 18 months. The importance of that is now they have the ability to hopefully show them a strong return or hopefully, you know, obviously not hopefully, but another big benefit is obviously the downside. You know, you protect their money. They don't see that big loss. It may be something they want to obviously add to. So it gives you a chance on the annual review to get more premium added. And one thing I'll note that does play full full first year comp for the first 18 months. That's something that's different. Free withdrawals, let's touch on this, 10% of premium paid. Why is that important? A lot of people actually use this to use products like this, maybe to fund life insurance, whatever it may be. So you put in 100,000 starting year two, you have 10,000 available to free withdrawal. It's not gonna be based on your accumulation value, any of that. Your client knows you can structure income, you can pay for other things, but you know exactly what you're gonna have access to each and every year. Now, I mentioned this is obviously a product focused on income, but it is after 10 years, lump sum accumulation value is available to you. And then annuitization available after five years. So I'm gonna take a pause here and just mention one thing. There is only one value on this contract. In this business, we kind of got, we got away from that and we pretty much, you know, we have income values, we have accumulation values, we have all of this. and. If, it does confuse clients. Our 222 is like that. It's the number one product in the industry, but this product simplifies all of that and puts it in front of you to say, you can tell your client this value is going to be what your income base is based off. This is going to be your walk away. This is going to be your death benefits, all built in one. It truly simplifies things for the client, for you, and makes it just an easier sale, easier approach for them. 
So just wanted to take a minute to and obviously have your guaranteed minimum value. So let's talk about the 360 benefit rider. First thing, two income withdrawal options. Your clients have the ability to take option one, predictable level income, right? That's for those clients who want to see exactly what they're going to get every year, or they can choose our bread and butter, our increasing income opportunity. This is truly what I, I feel sets us apart. This is what you're taught from day one of what we do differently. You know, part of that's due to our in-house hedging team that's unique to the industry, gives us the ability to do this. And, and obviously we've been doing it for years. We have the stats to follow up how, how strong it really has been. I've seen some, some crazy income step ups for people that have been taking income, especially over the, obviously this last bull run. Pretty simple, predictable payments. Well, option one. Whatever you start at, that's what your client's gonna get for the rest of their life. Client, the annuity can run out of money, uh, but as long as they're alive, they're gonna get that same payment every single year. Option two, based on their index performance, their income payment has the ability to step up. So you'll see in this example, from 11 to 12, we jump up, we jump up to contract year 13, and then obviously we have a couple level years, it'll never go backwards. So if you have a zero return, you're gonna just stay at that payment with the ability to go up. And I'll highlight that a little bit, a little bit later. Now, with the income rider, once you trigger it, that 25% interest bonus we discussed earlier does go away. So now it's gonna be whatever your payout percentage is. And then if you take an increasing income, those returns can help, help that value, value increase. And we'll show, we'll show more of that. Here's an idea. I don't want you to be overwhelmed about option one payout percentage grid. Just to give you an idea of how this works. If we look at age 60, if a client took income at age 60, their payout percentage would be 5.2%. Now I'm gonna take a step back. A client, as long as, obviously 50, they can take income immediately. If they wanna take income year one, right as they start it, they can do that. Or they can defer, and the longer they defer, the more benefit they get. All of the, essentially most products in the industry are all age band. So if you're 60, 63, 69, whatever it may be, we like to lump you in and give you the same exact payout. Where this product really values that age difference of even one year for a client. So if they're one year older, you're gonna see a higher payment. If they're a few years older, you're gonna see even more. And the longer you defer, the better it is. So if we look at age 60, if that client started at age 60 and they triggered right away, they could get a 5.2% payout. If they wanted to defer, Every year they defer, if you can see me circling, they're gonna get 25 basis points added to that payout percentage. We have an example here. So if this client waited 10 years for a single payment, they'd be at a 7.7% payout. That's at age 70. You're not gonna find anything that competes with that. Joint, half a percent less, you're gonna look at 7.2. So don't get overwhelmed and, and worry too much about the fact that it's different for every age. We have tools I'll show you that are gonna make that a little easier process for you and for, and obviously with that client. Here's option two, a um, little bit different because you have the ability to step up, you are gonna see, see payments, we're still on one, you are gonna see the payments go down a little bit. So instead of 5.2, we start at 4.3, we have the same exact increase amount of 25 basis points. You'll just be looking at you know 6.8% versus I believe 7.2 is what we were looking at earlier. But obviously there's give and take. You're giving up something and I'll show you the value of on some historical performance, how that may have, may have fared. This is, gives a quick, and I'll show you this, if you take it immediately, five-year wait, 10-year wait. Like I said, PowerPoints, I don't think are always the easiest thing to look at. But what I wanna go into, a couple of, obviously, options. Death benefits, payout's lump, payout is lump sum. Obviously, immediately, we can pay that. We have flexible annuity option rider available, flexible withdrawal rider, nursing home benefit. Obviously, a lot of these depend on states, not the focus of what we truly wanna talk about today. And then one last note I will say is we're definitely moving into the digital age. Um, apply now. Digital applications is the focus. It's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get 100% to that this year. Um, I, I don't know if we will, but uh, definitely a lot more people have been jumping on, on board. So I'm going to jump out of this here really quick, and I'm going to pull, pull, pull a couple things over to you. So I want to show first our, I want to show our rates. So these are, these are the rates on, I'm hoping they're showing, they should be showing on the screen, but here's an idea of where our rates stand. So just to give a quick synopsis, we have a 25% interest bonus while the contract's in deferral. We have a 1.2% rider charge. 
If you're looking at just fixed interest, we're at 2.8%. Well, that client's in deferral. They're going to get 2.8%. That does also get their 25% bump. So essentially, they'd be looking at 35 if you wanted to take your fee off, netting 2.3%. Not bad. If we can get that, we can compete and most likely beat most of our competition. But I want to get into some more. Most people don't buy these for the fixed rates. They buy for the upside. We're looking at 2.3, 2.2, 2.5, obviously, for the monthly sums. We have some annual point-to-point -point caps you're going to find as competitive as anything in the industry. Some annual point-to-point -point spreads, all under 2% obviously giving back the upside back to the client. And then I mentioned earlier, a new feature for us is the annual point to point par rates. Um, our BlackRock option we have at 120%. Our Bloomberg dynamic balance is our first ball controlled option at 115. And then PIMCO, uh, one that's performed, done really well at 115%. This gives you a good idea of where we stand. This blows our 222 caps out of the water. This is truly one of the most competitive rate-driven products out there, but also think about it from an, an income standpoint. And that's why I'll take a step back. We talk about this being an income-driven product, but something to think about is when you look at caps like this, and I'm sure we can all agree, they're very competitive. Some people do say, you know, that rider charge may be worth paying just to get the upside of some of these caps, get that 25% and have a lump sum walk away or lump sum death benefit down the road, but also giving your client that protection of income. Because we all know a lot can change in a client's obviously financial position over, over 10, 20 years, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna just pull up a couple of examples here that I want, I want to share with you guys, if I can find them. So I am going to pull an illustration example on the screen. You remember, so I, what I used here is, I'll, I'll scroll back up. What I used here was just a standard case. I used a 55 year old, 250,000 and I'm having them take single payments, option one or level income in year 11. Obviously we have our guarantee page, we have our worst case scenario. If we got zero, it's always gonna be based on what you put in, even if your your value goes down based on your ride. But let's take a look at this. We put 250 in, our payout grows every year. This I think this gives a better idea to 6.7. We look here, our accumulation value before we took our income was 408,000, 6.7% gave us 27,365 for life. This is our level income. This is what they're gonna get for the remainder of their life as long as they're alive. I wanna point this out. We see our accumulation value had some good growth. So even at 84, we've, we got 55,000 left. We're still getting our payments and we've paid out a total of $547,000 to the client based on our 250,000 we put in. I used a blend here of our PIMCO cap and our PIMCO par rate. This is obviously historical. Obviously take that for what it, is and for what it's worth, but something to point out to show, hey, if your client likes consistency, they wanna know what they're getting, maybe you're funding life insurance with some of this, whatever you may be doing, you do have this level income option. Quick reminder, and a lot of this is a quite common question asked, your client does not have to choose a level or increasing income until the time they take it. Something this to think about, if you're targeting with your client and you want to go into it and you're targeting $30,000, you're gonna figure out what they need to put in and you, maybe you work that off a guarantee. So we know guaranteed, worst case scenario, they're gonna get 30. But say 10 years go, go by, they have great returns, and you look at it and you say, you know, if we take level income or increasing income, we can actually get you that 30. Obviously, we'd be higher on level, but some clients may say, you know what, let's take the opportunity to increase, let's keep my money working for me, and try to get in the insurance company's pocket a little faster, because that's really what this product is designed to do. If you're taking an income, we're designed to pay you a ton of money, and with people living longer, obviously they can see the benefit of that. Now I'm gonna pull up our increase, an increasing option. You're gonna notice increasing income is obviously what I'm gonna spend most of my time talking about. I think it's a huge benefit. I've seen how it works. 99% of our clients who've taken increasing income have seen an increase, um, but obviously that's, for, that's my quick infomercial. But let's look at this here, 250,000, same amount of money, same, same exact payout or Allocation, we're at 408, but you'll notice obviously our payout's lower. Obviously there's give and take, and we're gonna start at 23,689 versus 27,000. Some people would have a hard time with that. And sometimes it takes you as the agent advisor to really show them the benefit and just having that quick conversation. And this is a conversation I have at all client events I do, and I always start it this way. I always ask, are you prepared to take a financial hit? And obviously you get the glazed over eyes and people don't really know what you're talking about. And I always ask, you know, by a show of hands, you think healthcare costs are gonna go up? 
all go up. You think inflation, all go up, will be a factor, all go up. If you think taxes, right? Especially during election time, there's a lot of groans like, yep, we're going to see that, yada, yada, yada. Well, you get them to agree to all those. They essentially just put in front of you to say, this is a feature I want on a product I purchase, and that's what we do well. So giving up some initial upside or some initial payout for the upside of that. So now we'll notice the difference between these numbers is whatever your credit and interest rate is. So we get 4.72 in the first year, we jump up to 24,808 and so on. So you can see by the end, we're at 66,000 by the time they're age 84. So in this hypothetical from 65 to 84, their payment grew from 23.6 to 66,730 for a total payout of $824,000, right? Giving up a little upfront for that potential and that upside down the road versus when we did level, we were around in that 500,000 range. So I think you can see the benefit, but there's something I really wanna, I really wanna point out. And this is a benefit that gets missed at times, but I think it's, I truly think it's extremely important to show. At age 80, the client's money runs out. They have no accumulation value. If they passed away, there's nothing left in this account they're passing on. But what's important to note is even though they're out of value, if you still have index returns, you still see your payment go up. We were at 54,000, we ended at 66. Obviously had a good year, but increasing income on a depreciating, depreciating asset is something that I think is important to note to the clients. I think it's important to note on this call. I think it's important to look at. It's something that we're doing different from our competitors and putting that in front of you. There's not many things you can find out there where you can see, give someone a pay raise. Give them a pay raise while they have zero value to the contract they hold. And we mentioned it, people are living longer. People are gonna get benefit out of this, but is increasing income for everyone? No, there are definitely people who would rather see consistency. That is what you guys do well, is figure out what a client is looking for. But the great part is if they're looking for this down the road, they don't have to make that decision until they trigger it. So I used a couple examples of just showing it out 10 years. I think it highlights and shows some of the things I want to show you about the product. But remember, you can trigger that income day one. You can take it immediately if you would like. You could take it in five years and take it in six. This product comes in handy for a, from planning purpose, right? You don't have to decide year one, but if you're putting a plan together and maybe you're doing a ladder and you say, okay, year five, we're going to bridge the gap to social security. If you're retiring early, we're going to buy this 360. We're going to put it in there. We're going to trigger that then. And then down the road, your social security kicks in and we have another annuity, maybe a two, two, two down the road or another carrier, whatever it may be. That's what you can do. You can do some really strategic planning with this product. And that's why people love it. Does it fit? Everyone, no, but if you have an income driven client, this is absolutely something you want to consider and look at for them. Now, don't get, uh, now there's a couple things I still want to show you, but don't get overwhelmed by the different payout rates and all of that. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our website. As you'll see, looks like we're having some scheduled maintenance. So, if anyone's trying to access our website, we are down from Friday to Monday. I'm doing a little install, I believe. But let me show you a few things. So I'm logged in right now. Our website is very interactive, has a ton of things. If there's anything you're ever looking for, it's on here. But I wanna show you some things that are very undervalued and it's our tools and calculators. Going to our tools and calculators, I just wanna show you some of these things. We have our social security explorer tool. People, believe it or not, people are still crushing the social security game. Um, people, I know I have guys who will do workshops full of room full of people just getting there to learn about social security that want to learn more. But most importantly, I want to show you our 360 annuity calculator. This is why I say don't get worried and wrapped up about the big chart. If I was in your office, I'd show you this chart and say, here's your chart, you know, and follow your finger from here, how long you're going to defer, and here's what it is. We made it simple. This is all you have to do. Your client's in with you, you're looking at it, and you say, you know, let's 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 figure out what we what we can do for you here. All right, you got a hundred thousand, you're sixty. I can never get there, and you want to take income at sixty-five. And let's go with a single income calculate. It's going to give us all this right here. Right? You can run an illustration, but this is gonna give you a quick hit, right? Hundred thousand. If in this scenario your payout six point four five, here's your guarantee. We assume a 1% per year growth, 6,948. If we assume 3%, we're looking at seven, you know, just shy of 7,500. Simplifies it. You don't have to look at a chart. This isn't something you need to even use with the client. This is something that you can put in front of them while you're with them and just say, here's the, you know, 
here's here's what the payout here's what we can do for you if you wanted to go to a predictable right recalculate it if so i can get back there or did i do predictable first i think i did do this all right automatically calculates 5.55 percent now one last thing on here i do want to show you and i think this is an important an important feature we can calculate the premium this is what people use a lot working backwards trying to figure out what we need to do for that client you know you obviously you guys always have clients who come in and give you an unrealistic amount of income they need in retirement but this this tool can obviously show you using less money using less money putting less in there to get more value and more income for them so yeah maybe you have somebody who's looking at and they need hey we need to supplement with twenty five thousand, right okay you're 55 you're 55 we go to 65 hey let's look at this that's you know least amount we want we do predictable we calculate it's going to tell me exactly for a guarantee to get to this number what we're going to need guaranteed premium is 373,000. another big thing i mean i'll mention life insurance and i can tell you i am fia only life insurance is not truly a focus of mine but as a you know as a practice you're going to obviously have different lines of business that's where people will use this as well okay we have total premiums of 15,000 for that contract each year what can we look at and say okay we have to pay it 10 pay or whatever it may be we can calculate to say hey we can throw in $200,000 we can trigger the income, pay it out, and we're gonna have you have all the funds for you to trigger that life insurance, we're gonna up your death benefit, but also give you an income for, for the rest of your life. So there's obviously a lot of options for you. There's different things you can do with this. 222 is the number one product in the industry. This product is only growing month by month. We showed it in the rates, we showed it in the payout percentages, we showed it in obviously what the income and increasing income potential can do for you. But think about a couple of things. We have increasing income on this product, we have payout percentage that increase. We don't just stick you with a 60 year old with the same payout percentage as someone who's 66, 68. We're gonna give them benefit for working those many, you know, how many more years or being that much older. We're gonna give it to them on this product. Accumulation value, accumulation potential is obviously something you can focus on, but main usage of this product is gonna be calculating an income, looking at what you need and providing payout they can't live in retirement. So those are the things I want to go over. If you want more information, uh, Jim knows how to get a hold of me. I think it'd work best to go through him. Obviously, we have our contacts here, but if you go through through Jim, he'll get you in touch with any info. I know we went through some of this quick, but I want to be respectful of all of your time. Obviously, you guys are busy. I'm sure you guys all have appointments coming up. But that's where we're at. If you want more info, contact Jim and be more than happy to give you some, give you more, and send more out to you. But thank you, everyone. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the time. Thanks, Taylor. Um, I actually have a couple questions here for you, if that's all right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the one of the uh, participants today was asking. You mentioned in the beginning about additional premium uh, that can yes. be added in. Now it's eighteen months, not just a year. Now, um, does that count towards? The income base because I know with some carriers they're flex, but the, the additional premium doesn't um, benefit the income base. So, can you address that? Does it does it count towards the Ab income base? Absolutely. Um, so, any additional premium will count towards on our three sixty or three sixty five I and two 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 okay. to all values. So, okay. in the three sixty, remember we mentioned it had one value. So, yes, any additional premium will go towards that. Okay. Good. Uh, another question I have here is, uh, what would you what would you say is the percentage of sales that the 360 has at Allianz overall? Do you do you have an um, idea of how much business goes to that versus like 222 or? Absolutely. So we have to think about market, but before the 222, this was our product. Mm -hmm. This was absolutely the go-to product. Right now, we are just uh, we're just north of 20 percent goes into the 360 okay which is going to be obviously billions of dollars but it's the 222 is still the primary it's still the dominant product out there one mm -hmm. of the main reasons is the no fee feature on it but obviously there's a lot you this product you look at the fee but you look at all you get but i would say the number one thing is some people i think are a little intimidated by this product and they can you know with all the payout percentages and i think that's what does affect some of the some of the sales but 
I will say this, if you talk to an employee who's at an age who maybe an FIA is something they're looking at, odds are they have a 360 in their portfolio. If you talk to somebody in this, in this, in this building. Yeah. Interesting. Good. And, um, something I'm going to mention here in a little bit or offer before we get done is, um, if you would like more information on this, um, Allianz 360, uh, we'd be glad to get you more information or get appointment, appointment paperwork, uh, certainly so you can get up and running. Um, Taylor, I did want to ask you, has there been any changes um, with the contracting requirements uh, to be with Allianz Preferred? Has anything changed lately? Nothing lately. Okay. No, same as what your same, same designations or production or commissions, same, same things to get our preferred contract. Okay. All right, that's good to know, because we'll be—I'm sure—we'll be sending um, updated information out on the 360. Um, did you? Was there anything else that you wanted to discuss today before I jump jump over? No, I think that covers it. I never want to go into too much. I think you know, obviously, I'm willing to go over any products in the future, but wanted to leave you guys with with some thoughts on 360 today. Mm -hmm. So, w real quickly, I'm going to launch a poll question here. So, if any of you out there would like to get more information on the 360 or any of the other preferred products or contracting from us, please uh, respond to the question I'm launching now. We'll be glad to get out some information if there's a particular case that you're working on soon and would like to see the increasing income option or the level, either one, we'll get you an illustration, get you what you need so you can get out and, and get that sold. So um, we certainly appreciate your responses to that. And as I mentioned, we will also be getting um, information to you on our Life and Annuity Academy, especially if you answered yes to that question. And, um, of course, uh, the webinar will be available for you to review again. So thanks again for your responses. And um, with that, I want to say thanks again for your participation. And, Taylor, we certainly appreciate your time and information. And you all have a great day. Thank you all. Appreciate it.